News, a San Joaquin man who is facing two felony charges for possessing and distributing child pornography is out of jail tonight. The deputies say that 34-year-old Anthony Escobedo allegedly shared a video on social media showing a young girl being raped. CBS 47 Shauna Kalafi joins us live at the Fresno County Sheriff's Office with more on what deputies are calling a troubling pattern of behavior. Shauna. Yeah, Ken Escobedo was booked at the Fresno County Jail yesterday with bail set at $40,000. He's since bonded out, but deputies say there may be more charges still to come once they analyze his electronic devices. On Tuesday, Fresno County Sheriff's deputies arrested 34-year-old Anthony Emanuel Escobedo on felony charges of possessing and distributing child pornography. The investigation started after a tip that Escobedo was using social media to share child pornography. What we discovered is that he was actually uh, passing videos off uh, showing a man raping a little girl who's like three to five years old. Escobedo was arrested at his home in San Joaquin. His electronics were seized and will be analyzed. Possessing and distributing, so he faces those two charges. Um, but then, you know, there could be enhancements. Uh, if he has, say, over 600 images of child pornography, um, that brings the crime to a new threshold. Escobedo has an extensive criminal history related to sex crimes, with active cases in Fresno County for forcible rape and indecent exposure after he was allegedly caught masturbating near schools in Clovis three times. He also has some other allegations of groping young girls and even exposing himself to a young child. So um, it's one of those troubling patterns of behavior. And deputies say Escobedo has lived in Fresno, Clovis, Kingsburg, and now San Joaquin. And because of that pattern of behavior, they believe there may be even more victims who still haven't come forward. So if you have any information to share, call the Fresno County Sheriff's Office. Live in Fresno, Shauna Kalafi, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.